off the day two with some frosted flakes, some milk, uh, a plate of fruit, coffee, and mimosas. <laughs> which, because we have. Bar Pearl Day today. Yeah, so Rachel ordered extra drinks. No, I thought we'd have to start in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is not part of the Bar Pearl, but we are starting that way. And, you know, if you have a balcony, you should definitely use it. So, welcome to day two, sea day. Here we go. Good morning and officially welcome to sea day, bar crawl day. <laughs> uh, day two. Yes, day two. <laughs> So we are going to try to get started in a good way. Yeah. We are going up to the gym real quick. Probably show you a little bit of what it looks like up there. Um, you don't have to see all this when that's going on though. <laughs> and then we are going to be start kicking off our bar crawl over at 270. Yes. Because there right. is a function for if you're um, platinum or maybe gold or better. I think it's platinum or better. Yeah. So because we're both platinum, so we are going to go over there. They'll do some little hype you up, be happy to be here. They usually like go over to- <laughs> Recognition, like, that's yeah. what I was going <laughs> so for. They usually go over the people who've cruised the most that are on the sailings. So. Yeah, there's a mm -hmm. crazy number of people that um, have like hundreds and thousands of days that they've spent at sea. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's what our plan is. It's a sea day and it looks beautiful outside, so we'll probably spend some time in the sun too. It does, and mm -hmm. the good thing is, a bar crawl is not just good to get drunk, but it actually is a really good way to see the ship yeah. because you have the bars all the way throughout. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. There is a cool glass floor here. Seems like there's a lot of people that are not big fans of that, but Rachel's one of them. <laughs> it's a bright day out there. So we did notice yesterday that there is an El Loco Fresh up here on the pool deck, but unfortunately it doesn't have breakfast, which was our favorite breakfast when we were on Symphony of the Seas. So I guess we'll have to find something different later. We did. For our intentional workout. We did. Um, but <coughs> we did not realize that cafe, or bar at 270 does not open till 11. So it won't be our first bar. <laughs> um, so we are going to try to head up to the Windjammer, grab a little bit to eat. And there's supposed to be a bar up there. So that'll be the first bar. That'll be the first. Enough breakfast. I know we did a fruit plate this morning, but after our workout, I'm gonna go with some muesli and some cantaloupe juice to get started this morning. All right, first pass waffles, pork sausage, and scrambled eggs. All right, second pass at the buffet. 
I did go grab us some Vitality water, coffee. And I went with some just scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, and I think it's brioche bread. Maybe it's got some raisin in it. It looks good, it's nice and soft. All right, I went to the hand carved honey glazed ham. Oh, they had some hand cut there. cheddar. Yum. And then some white bread. I'm gonna make a ham and cheese sandwich. Really delicious. All right, I'm gonna say this was the smartest move ever. <laughs> this is the smartest move ever. Yeah, look at that thing. That is a good ham and cheese sandwich right there. All right, now let the bar crawl begin. We are here at the Windjammer, and the bar area is actually pretty small, but three sangrias coming up. Alright, so one of the difficulties that you run into when you want to drink at all the bars, especially in one sea day, is the timing. Yes, because <laughs> not everything's open at certain right. times. And it's actually World Cup final right now, so Playmakers is an impossible feat <laughs> yeah, right it's now. Yeah, going to have to wait <laughs> for a little um, bit. <laughs> and the tough thing is there's only two by name bars up on the pool deck. There is uh, three different lime and coconuts, but that doesn't count for this type of thing. So you got lime and coconut, the sunshine bar, and then Playmakers, which is deck 16. 16, 13, yeah. So we want to spend some a decent amount of time up on the pool deck. Because we are in the Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> So <laughs> we're gonna get creative because otherwise we're gonna end up with like nine bars at from 5 p.m. On, on and that's yeah. gonna make it sloppy yeah. so to help spread it out we're headed to 270 again Espresso martini. Got our swim pants on. Swim trunks. Next drink is at the Crown and Compass. This is the English style pub down on deck four. Live music at night. Very dark wood. I'm actually surprised they don't have World Cup on down here. When we were on uh, Quantum of the Seas, they had TVs up and we actually watched football in them. But here, we are just drinking it seems.
Thumb punch. The game is still going as you can tell. Yeah, five down, seven to go. Uh, drink some water and eat some food. Little bit of randomness in the Salarian Bistro. Hot dog, jerk pork, spaghetti, french fry, apricot cake, and hot dog, french fries, salami, cheese, cookies, pudding. All right, we just got some water, got some food. Salarian Bistro's got a good selection for yeah. a small amount. Of it's an pizza. odd collection of food, but it was more beachy. Okay. Um, I thought the hot dog was delicious. <laughs> it was fine. It's a regular hot dog. Don't don't let her fool you here. That was not gourmet anything. Um, but anyway, lime and coconut. Let's go get another drink. Are you ready, Mom? I am ready. Yes. All right, here's ready. Get this. Everybody, eat three. Lime and coconut bar. We got more. We have a special prize for the first place. But then everybody please, big round of for Laura. Everybody say, hi Laura. hallway scenes we were we, refreshed yes we, we did showered. get yeah we finally got a shower in um <laughs> got changed up a little bit we are gonna head down to the casino get a coke i'm craving a coke so yeah. bad i need a little caffeine <laughs> and a little, a little carbonation <laughs> uh we got five more bars to go and 
We have reservations for Izumi right now. We are unsure if we're gonna do it or not. Um, we do enjoy Izumi. Yeah, we really do. But, but our friends are with us and we're talking about right. maybe going to the pub and getting a burger and right. nachos. When you've been drinking all day, a lot of times you just don't wanna eat some sushi. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> nine to twelve bars in at that point in time, I assume. Yeah. We'll see where we end up. All right. So our drink, typically while playing slots, is amaretto and diet. They have Coke Zero, so even better. Yep. Amaretto and Coke Zero. Cheers. So shifting plans. Um, I do think we're gonna try to go to the pub for yeah. dinner. Plus, <laughs> yeah, check this thing out. <laughs> anyway, it's so big. Um, we're gonna check to make sure that they are serving food before we don't go to Izumi or cancel it. Yeah. What else did you get? Oh, I got a coconut mojito. Yes. <laughs> Down to two bars left, so we can start ordering what we want. <laughs> Look at this sucker. <laughs> All right, starting off dinner, we did get the pretzels, which you can see comes with a mustard. And then pickles, pickles which Rachel's already started to eat. That's how she does it. All right, and then we did get some poutine. There's gotta be some cheese up in there, right? Not a lot of cheese. But they're fries with gravy, apparently. And just a sprinkling of cheese. There's cheese on top, yeah. Yes. Look at this burger. That's a giant burger. And it looks delicious. We added cheddar and bacon. Oh, and there's Christmas girls going on. Cause they just let the Christmas tree. 
All right, for dessert we have fried cheesecake. We have not tried this one before, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut into one so you can see what it looks like. That looks like cheesecake. Fried. Raspberry or strawberry? Ah, it is one or the other. Raspberry or strawberry? We'll find out. But looks decent. Well, 11th bar, uh, I got something with ginger ale and vodka and something else, I don't remember. I got something with cranberry and vodka. Cheers. Cheers. That's it terrible. It. Yeah, that's gross. That's bad. <laughs> Odd choice, but we are going classy with our final drink of the day. Uh, we are at Giovanni's Wine Bar, and Cheers. we got two Rieslings. That's a good ender. Way better than the Bionic Bar. That sucks. <laughs> the Bionic Bar was me. Those drinks were gross. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. That's true. All right, so the bar bar crawl is done. Um, I will say we do train because we live at elevation. We live at 6,000 feet. So if you're thinking that we're just some big old alcoholics, we're not. Um, no. But we did a good job. And it took and us. And you can too. Yeah, it also took us 12 plus hours. It did. Yeah. So, you know, you got a long day. You got to kind of plan it, but you can definitely do it if you put your mind to it and you're <laughs> willing to drink a lot. Um, we also did end up with. Uh, a few extra mimosas. We did the Foster's extra. But so you can definitely make it. Yeah, you can definitely make it. We also did something that you don't have to do. We did something, a different drink at every bar. We did. We did not do the same drink Which twice. the Bionic Bar was terrible. Yeah, the worst so one. Gross. What was your favorite drink that we had today? Mm. Man, that um, lava flow at the pool was pretty good. I was going to go with the same one. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed the lava flow. The other thing that I would look at was the sangria from the very first drink. Yes. So was refreshing. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, we are still drinking our wine. I will say that. Um, we are actually going to do the 270 experience after this. And then we're going to do Showgirl. Uh, the show in the main theater afterwards. So still lots to do. Stick around. That's right. projectors that they're hiding over there in that hole.
kindly ask that all parents, grandparents, and guardians control the behaviour of their children during this performance. Masks are also optional. And as a final reminder, you step All right, we're back in the room. We did make it to some of Showgirl. We do believe that it is very similar, if not the same show that we've seen before. Yes. So we watched about half of it, and we left because we're really tired. And we have an early morning tomorrow, so. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna drink at 12 different bars, plus other drinks, you might make an early night. <laughs> yes. All right, but we do have a fun day planned for tomorrow. We are gonna be in Labadee for the first time. We do have an excursion plan, so please come around and watch that. Yes, don't miss this one because it's going to be super fun. And then the rest yes. of the day we're going to spend at the beach. Yes. What was your favorite bite today? My favorite bite is a tough one because today was not a foodie day. It was not a it foodie It was all day. about the drink. Mm -hmm. And so I guess the best bite, probably the burger at the pub. It was good. Yeah, I yeah, agree. It was a good burger, but mm -hmm. I'm not, it, it's, I don't think anything today was like, oh my God, I got to I gotta have it again. I can't wait. No, honestly, mine was similar, but it was midday and drinking. It was uh, the hot dog at lunch. Okay, I do gotta go back. <laughs> My ham and cheese sandwich. You did make a good ham and cheese sandwich. Yes. Mm -hmm. So at breakfast, you know, we don't like buffets, but if you can put in the time, hand carved uh, ham. Hand the, carved cheddar. Yes, the cheddar, the butter on the bread. Mm, mm, mm. Was that your, was the best bite. What was your favorite memory of the day? Experience, memory. Oh boy. Mine Was there one? Yeah, mine was <laughs> um after we came out of Solarium Pool. We had been hanging out in the pool. You walk out onto the pool deck and they have a huge TV and yes. we, we actually just made it in time for the World Cup finals um shoot off, I guess is what you call it. Yeah. That was really cool I don't to me. I think it's called a shoot off. Kick off. Somebody will say shootout. down below. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it's like a shootout, right? But man, there were a ton of people watching, and that excitement. It was very fun. Yeah, that excitement there was. It was an the extremely thing for pro me. Argentina crowd. Yes. And Argentina won, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was very fun. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll go with that too. Okay. <laughs> If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.